The biologists and staff of Newport Aquarium care for many species of animals here every day, from frogs to sea turtles, from jellies to shark rays. But in the last few weeks, one animal in particular has received what can only be described as extraordinary care. This is the first known case of penguin cancer that's being treated aggressively through radiation. And to make it even more special, this is the first chinstrap penguin that, actually, the, that was hatched in North America. This is one of our cold penguins exhibited here at the Newport Aquarium in the Kingdom of Penguins exhibit. And so the temperature in there is 34 degrees. We can't just box up the bird and put him in the back of our car and take him up to blue, blue ash for treatment. We explained Tika's story to our friends down at Home City Ice, and they were nice enough to loan us one of their ice delivery trailers. And this way, we can take Tika and put her in a element of 30, 34 degrees and be able to transport her back and forth to the care center. Well, the Cincinnati Animal Referral and Emergency, or Care Center, was a veterinary hospital that we started in, in the year 2000 because we, we wanted to form Cincinnati's first multi-specialty veterinary hospital. And what that means is we wanted to have a place that was not just 24-hour emergency care, but that had board-certified veterinary specialists. These are veterinarians who do advanced training in a particular discipline. So here at Care Center, we've got board-certified uh, veterinary surgeons, internal medicine specialists, cardiologists, oncologists, radiation therapy. Uh, the parameters that we use in order to, to do this process are based on other animal models, not penguin models, because penguins have never been done before. I mean, this is the first time that this type of therapy has been done. So utilizing the parameters that have been done with other animals for the same type of mass dictates a number of treatments, which are 16, and uh, that way we're certain that uh, uh, you know, we get the, the adequate amount of radiation for the problem. Well, the process is going very smoothly. Uh, Teak is doing very well. You know, our big concern was the frequency of treatments. So right now we're doing a treatment a day, and we've been uh, at that level for the last four days. And Teak is doing surprisingly well. You know, the end point of this, of course, is tumor revol uh, tumor uh, resolvement. So if if this thing goes away over time, then that's the ultimate objective. You know, unfortunately, you don't really know that information until the end of the process, and that could be anywhere from six to eight months down the road. Um, we will probably do a biopsy in six months to see if we have any residual cancer cells. But as the treatment goes along, we're being very generous relative to the, relative to the site of the actual cancer so that our radiation techniques are successful. If you're interested in helping to support Tika and raise awareness, Newport Aquarium is now selling special black and white ribbons. The $2 cost will go entirely toward penguin research and conservation throughout the world through the Wave Foundation at Newport Aquarium. Be sure to get yours on your next visit.